right. Oh, headed to the gym. Need to go work out. Get my swole on. But anyways, I, what I wanted to talk about today was, uh, you know, if you want to buy a bike, and this is from my point of view, and, and, and some of the things to consider when you're, when you're looking to get in, getting into riding, you know, one of the, the big things is uh, what type of bike you want to buy. You know, what are you going to be doing with it? First question to ask yourself, are you just going to be cruising or are you using it for a, a commuter bike to get back and forth from A to B? Or are you um, wanting to go on cruises? You know, what are you wanting to do with this thing? Um, next thing to consider is is how much do you want to pay for a bike you know that's always that's usually the limiting factor <laughs> in a lot of the, in a lot of bike purchases is you know what kind of bike can you afford and not just cost wise for the bike itself um what you need to consider in all this is also insurance insurance on a on a larger cc bike more expensive the type of bike you buy uh, super sport, expensive, <laughs> you know, and, and the bigger the CC, the engine, the higher the cost of insurance is going to be for that thing. Cause that, that's usually going to be the limiting factor for that. Um, but going back also going back to, you know, finances is you got to consider gear, you know, what kind of, what kind of gear are you going to want to buy? Do you want to buy uh, a helmet? I highly recommend it. <laughs> Do you want a jacket? I highly recommend that too. Do you want pants? I don't have pants. You know, I was considering if I was going to go take a, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I was looking at like knee pads, you know, the, the kinds that knee and shin guards for riding. I was thinking about that. Um, gloves. That's always a big, a big thing to think about too. You know, gloves are cheap and gloves can be expensive depending on the brand you buy and what you want to use it for you know I've got these leather ones which I'm really glad I made uh, I paid 50 bucks for them uh, also if you're wanting to consider going riding again going back to do you, are you buying it over form or function form or function is what it comes down to because you know you want to sit on a bike a 250 might not be the best bike to start off on I started off on life on a 250. I was comfortable with it. The Ninja 250 was a parallel twin. The it was an 06 that I bought. I bought it off of Craigslist. Paid cash money. And I mainly bought it as a commuter. It got me from home to work and back. And then, you know, on the weekends I might take it out, go riding, hit the mall, go to a friend's house, something like that, whatever. Um but I mainly use it as a commuter and you know I'm 5'9 and I was pretty comfortable on it you know the, the, the riding position wasn't like super aggressive it's made for a beginner rider so you're more upright but you're leaned over a little um, so it's not going to kill your shoulders and your wrists you know I, I, got a, I, I ride a, a 500 now a Ninja 500 again bought off of Craigslist and the reason why I bought this bike was the fact that um the traveling and riding around here in El Paso, as opposed to um, the place I was living right outside of Kansas City, you know, there was a lot of country roads, not a lot of highway for me to travel on, going to and from work. But it's different here. There's a lot more highway, and uh, there's a lot more uh, speeding. You know, so keeping up with traffic is, was one of the considerations that I had to take in and, when, and looking to buy a new bike. Because you can take this posted speed limit and add like 10 miles an hour to it. And, and in some places, the speed limit between like, let's just say here, El Paso and Las Cruces, jumping on I-10, the posted speed limit is 80 miles an hour. So you can take... Um, that speed limit, like right, right, right now, look at this. I, it, the posted speed limit on this road is 45 or 55, and we're all doing 60 or 65. 
I think back back behind me about a quarter mile back it was 45 and right now it's I think it's 55 miles an hour and we're all doing 65 so yeah so go you know before you go out and buy a bike go to a bunch of dealerships sit on it you know find a bike the type of style of bike you like sit on it figure out is this how you want to be sitting you know if you're going to be riding because you let you know the last thing you want to do is buy a bike and then totally be unhappy with it <laughs> and then you got to consider trading it in to get something that you're more comfortable with so yeah that's just my two cents you know figure out what you what you want to use it for uh, figure out how much you want to spend in both cost of the bike insurance and gear and then put it all aside and then buy it you know you, you don't have to buy the greatest helmet you don't have to go out and buy a showy you know I run an eight I, my first helmet was an HJC IS 16 it was one of those ones that had the clear front and then it had the the darkened visor on the inside that could slide down and that was a great helmet um, and then I saw this one <laughs> just I went to the motorcycle dealership and I saw this one and I, and I like the look um, I like the the design of the helmet um, it doesn't make this one is a little bit more uh, narrow in design that HJC was just a little too big on my head I look like a, a walking q-tip um, this one I don't I don't you know it's a lot more aerodynamic in my opinion I don't feel the wind resistance on this, so I've been really happy. But the ventilation system is weird. <laughs> when you have the vents open on top and you're riding at like 10 and 15 miles an hour just coming to a stop, it sounds like a jet plane is flying overhead, like, you know, a couple thousand feet up, but you can hear like <laughs> But, you know, that tells me that the, that the vents are working. So yeah, you know, form over function, sit on it for comfort and figure out how many how much you want to spend and you know whether you buy a 250 a 600 or a thousand or like a you know a 1200 cc bike be comfortable with what you've done and really think it through don't just say oh i really like the way that looks you know don't don't <laughs> you know i've got some friends who are females and i'm not bashing on females here but you know it's all about looks when they buy things oh that's pretty i really you know i so i like it you know they don't think about performance they don't think about um all the other practical things that you think about when you're making a purchase especially a vehicle especially a bike you know you don't buy it just because it's pretty you buy it because it works for you so that's my that's my rant so i'll check you guys later